Hi everyone, my name is Ivan and welcome to a brand new episode of Tarmashadi. And with me, I've got the ever amazing Just Goran. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> hey. Unfortunately, Mike is not with us. There's always a chance that he's that he's gonna come in and barge in like he did last time, but his headphones are broken, so he couldn't join the recording today, which is a big shame. We'll leave a uh, we we'll leave a um, how do we call it again? A Patreon link to support Mike, so he can buy new headphones. <laughs> so he can buy new headphones. <laughs> oh god! In the description. <laughs> so um, just go become on. a YouTube member. Yes. <laughs> I didn't do anything this episode. Well, except well, for the, what for, you're for looking the, at right now. For the five <laughs> minutes that I spent placing some plans down, and most of them were already blueprints from in the um, <laughs> from in the zoo already. But yeah, you, I mean, you've I, been I, I, been working hard on this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Uh, I mean, I also used a lot of your blueprint friends because <laughs> I, I wanted to stay somewhat in the uh, same vein as, yeah, as yeah. what's already here. But um, yeah, yeah I got, really a couple, cool. got a couple things to show and maybe Ooh. even more than just show. Ooh. Ooh. Well, before we get started, everyone knows that there was uh, the new restaurant update that was announced. Was it yesterday or the day before that? <laughs> day before that even or maybe even the day before that uh, and yeah. by the time this video comes out <laughs> <much Yeah. earlier. laughs> it was on monday god damn everything with this covid uh, all days are just blurring together anyway if you guys remember it last time we were on this uh on tarmashadi together we said hey you know we really love these animal stands and these education stands it would be amazing if we could also link up shops with seating area <laughs> and a <laughs> month later frontier <laughs> says okay here have a restaurant system <laughs> you have a restaurant system where you do, you do exactly just that <laughs> except not with the current shops but just a whole new facility yeah i do want just, like last time we talked about that and we were like oh i wish that the regular benches uh could be linked to an education uh talk point mm -hmm. i am wonder, and it's the same thing again now it's, it's a separate bench a separate table i wonder if that's a migration issue like they would have to update all of our save files to update all of the mm -hmm. benches in our save files maybe it's that but yeah i do hope that in the future we can also just link up shops to a few benches but this new restaurant feature like I can't complain. This is a thing that I've wanted from the start, and it looks freaking amazing. So it looks really good. Yeah, I'm really, I'm, I can't wait. I don't think I can make it functional in my zoo, but it's still <laughs> gonna be a, a game changer for yeah custom yeah. projects. So yeah, so yeah. All right, we've talked enough about about that update, and we know there's a new update coming. I mean, we all guess it is going to come, and we all kind of assume that there's going to be a next DLC. Um, but this is like one of the first times that we don't really have an idea what is coming. We have like, even, e yeah. I, I know there are leaks, but even the leaks aren't really conclusive about what it's going to be. So yeah, it's just some vague terms like, oh, yeah. So a wall it, set, like, yeah. oh, whoa, <laughs> who could have guessed that? <laughs> yeah, that's not something we ever had before. But um, is there anything before we go and, and see the amazing stuff that you did? Is there anything that you would really like uh, from a potential new DLC? I, I'm completely blank. <laughs> I'm just, I'll take what I can get. And if it's useful, I'll use it. And otherwise, <laughs> that's kind of how I've been with every DLC so far. Yeah, I, I so. kind of feel the same. And But I'm, I'm quite happy that I don't know this time. It's going to be fun to be just genuinely be surprised but what whatever they have it seems to be hinting towards europe but is it then like general europe is it mediterranean is it is it we don't know and i really like that and something else i don't know is what <laughs> you've just built so let's just stop talking because we've been let's talking for six minutes walking. already <laughs> and start walking <laughs> <laughs> so you've been working on the congo line which was yeah originally way on the other side of the park and has now been shifted way over here um mm -hmm. but yeah for this i am going to let you do the talking and you have to tell me what i should do should i go yeah. straight through should i go this way i think i think uh, you you can go this way 
if you okay. want. We can have a little peek in, in what's to come. I didn't really finish this viewing area quite yet. I kind of just left it for you to decide what you want to do with Ooh. this main road and stuff like that. But this is our first glimpse into the uh, the Congo forest, or Congo rainforest, you could Ooh. say. And we have a little gorilla habitat. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah. I, I, must have, I I saw this. I didn't go inside this area because mm -hmm. I wanted to be surprised. I saw this and I, I think you're going to expect what I'm going to say, but you can clearly see the inspiration from the big Sibet in here. <laughs> It like it has like the the similar vibe, which I really appreciate, yeah. because I knew you would bring that to the table, and I really wanted to see what you were gonna do with that in like a tropical setting. And you mm -hmm. really yeah, that that's really been a bit of a struggle. Like <laughs> I have no idea how things work in tropical settings. Like especially because I've read a lot of husbandry manuals for these animals and for the exhibits to kind of make it all you know realistic as we like to do, and. A lot of husbandry windows are like aimed at zoos in colder temperatures. They're like, oh yeah, make sure you have enough uh, indoor areas if they have to stay inside for long periods of time due to cold weather. But like, that's not going to be an issue here. So yeah. how does that affect things? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they, they face they face completely different challenges. Like in, in these kind of climates, you need to have mm -hmm. protection from rain, from storms, from stuff like that. But not, not snow or cold temperatures, but... Oh, 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 oh. oh, there's a grizzly over there. <laughs> All right, I think we can uh, we can move on and yeah, we'll yeah. Uh, get to kind of the entrance, uh, where I've left a couple of gifts for you Ooh. at the green uh, green side. I don't know if you've seen those already. I didn't. I didn't. All right, I, I left you some billboards. Oh, <laughs> an advertisement. Oh, that's super cool. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> so love that. So you can place those somewhere. Like in the park or in the city, you can have them like advertisement target the, the actual ride so that people maybe actually use it. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, the 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 right one, the right, bottom right one, is actually two like one meter billboards. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That are like merged together, so you can actually get a small one. Oh, um, I love that. Yeah, the big one is a little bit too big. I love it. It really looks amazing. Really yeah. cool. Okay, so, now, uh, I, now I want to know what's 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 inside of this. Yeah, this let's, uh, let's head in. So you already said on Discord, like, oh, I didn't know you were making a walking <laughs> route as well. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> which which I didn't really do. Um, the, the main thing that happened, basically, was that I really wanted to have a bridge go over. Yep, yeah, that's a sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to... Of so these are two of these fabric pieces and of course uh, yeah, and font, it's, it's font, like font pieces of course <laughs> yeah it's like six fabric pieces and if you turn oh, around wow. it's actually <laughs> oh that's amazing oh, I really <laughs> like that yeah um, oh. but yeah I really wanted to have a bridge go over the boat ride so that's kind of what started this this walking part oh, of it. Oh yeah, I remember. That was like one of the very first things you showed us. Mm -hmm, pretty much. Um, yeah, basically uh, how I started developing this area was not really like making a plan. Uh, I was really developing the boat ride as a first thought. Mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted it to be kind of a story of going into the Congo jungle, you know, and mm -hmm. being yeah, taking a guided safari through it. Uh, so I actually just started storyboarding the boat ride as a start. Oh. And from those storyboards came all of the ideas and things that I later implemented into the area. So yeah, here we've got another viewing area into the gorilla habitat. Yeah, and... Uh, from a bit of an uh, elevated position. I, I, I know that it might seem like, oh, even why are you fawning over the viewing area, but... Can we just can we just talk about the the little gap between so it looks like these poles go in between them and like all the Oh wait that's unintentional but thank oh, you. Oh okay. <laughs> okay. I didn't even notice. And the, the I I assume that the trim work around the around the uh, windows was intentional um yeah, and that definitely. looks really amazing. 
that's uh, something we'll see later on in the ride as well. That's something I did in another spot. And I did that purposely to make the windows like extra apparent and look at make it look a little bit more like yes, this is there is a window here. Oh yeah, uh, okay. We, <laughs> we don't want there to be, but there has to be one. Because, you know, animals. <laughs> oh, so um, this is yeah, this is so that this little is the, spot. This is the rope bridge. Uh, which oh, perfect timing. <laughs> Uh, we're Looking gonna back. we're going to ignore the animal in the box right in the back. <laughs> oh, there's a bongo in the hey. box. Hey, hey, hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! What's that? Oh, spoilers! What? <laughs> What's uh, that? That? What's uh, that? Did you? <laughs> did you? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I what? I I assume you 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 want to keep that for the boat tour. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I I do. <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna talk about it then. But that looked amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we'll see another one pretty soon. But yeah, uh, we can go around the back here. Um, I loved using these straw pieces on the yeah. left as fences. They're a really hard piece to work with because they have all of those poles sticking yeah. out. This. <laughs> uh, so you, you need to be able to put them in a spot where you can hide those, uh, which worked pretty well over here. It's amazing. Um, I also like this. It's it's super janky, but it works. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to have more of them, but uh, I ran out of spots to put them <laughs> and, and things to put on them. So there's actually only two now. Um, but yeah, welcome to the village area. Oh wow! The, the, the port village. And uh, here we have the Kumbu Kumbu souvenir shop. Mm. Uh, which yeah, I really wanted to have a souvenir shop here because I figured after you. Get wow. off the ride. People are pretty likely to maybe get a souvenir or something like that. Um, the word kumbu kumbu is Swahili for... Uh, well, <laughs> okay, that's actually also a funny story. So I was trying to come up with a name for the store. Um, and I wanted to use a language native to Congo. Uh, it turns out there's actually a bunch of languages that they speak there. Yeah. The main one being French. Oh, yeah. um, but they also speak Swahili. Which is kind of everyone's go-to African language, I feel. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, Mealy. I know you're you're not a big fan of all people using Swahili, but it's it's yeah, it's, 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 it's the it's one language we all know as Western people. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Beeksberg already uses the Zawadi gift shop. Uh, Zawadi meaning gift. Uh -huh. So I wanted to use something different. Uh, so I looked up the word for souvenir, and Google Translate told me it was kumbu kumbu. Oh. It later turned out that kumbu kumbu actually means like memory or like recollection, which is that's in the same vein. It's kind of a mistranslation in a way, which I thought was even funnier. And that's why I kept it. I like it even more because it sounds a lot cooler. I also like um, this hammerhead toy in the background. Yeah, I think. I oh really crap! Like I forget. I think that one was by. Oh no, I forgot. I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I, have to I, that up. I know Keyboard Keeper made the official animals, and I thought ZZ made a lot of. Yeah, I think it's by ZZ. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, right. It's cool. uh, the the workshop item is the birds of the con. Uh, yeah, the birds of the Congo pack. And when I saw that it was a hammer cop in there, I was like, I gotta put it in. That's one of my favorite birds. <laughs> oh yeah. I also like these crocodile backpacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are by Ricey. Um, of course, there's some of your gift shop items in here as well. Some of mine as well. I like this. Uh, I like the reference to to uh, <laughs> Bigs and Bedin. I love this. Yeah, those are those are some of my own signs. I thought I'd just put them in just to you know plug up the place a bit more. It really yeah. works. I really like it. <laughs> okay, so um, where should I where should I go next? Oh. Well, uh, I think before we get on to the right, you might want to go to the bathroom real quick. You know, we can do yeah. that over here. Oh, get okay. a snack. Uh, should I? Should I go inside? It's a okay. functional bathroom, so <laughs> <laughs> clearly it's not going to be a thing. We'll look at the uh, the playground after we leave the right. So I think uh, okay. we're going to move to the YouTube video. All right. Which okay. will start us off over here as well. All right. All right. So we've got some music. Got some. Uh, ambience here. I love the music. Yeah, I, I made sure, if in case you're worried, I made sure that all the sound and music that I did use is either, you know, copyright zero or uh, from the YouTube li library. 
But, um... Please remain seated for the duration of the ride. Do not feed or provoke the animals. Yeah. That's insane! That's so freaking insane! <laughs> so, um, that is actual thigh. At least I, I hope it. I can't I can't verify it, but uh, I got someone to uh, to record some voice lines. Oh my god, that's for the amazing! Motor. And uh, and I found a way. Well, I say that now, it ended up not working, <laughs> but I found a way to sync it up with the boat ride. <laughs> oh. So uh, yeah. This is so awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Holy yeah. hell! So, uh, here's our first animal. Are you caught to zoom? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you were I able to it, zoom in I on it. Oh, that's amazing. They, they are um, hard to spot. They were a bit of an afterthought. Um, oh. when, I, when I put in the road bridge, of course, because the ride is a loop, you gotta cross the river again. Yeah, if you yeah. wanna, you know, have a continuous path. I didn't want to make another bridge. <laughs> <gasps> the cables! Oh, that was so yep. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't want to make a second bridge, uh, so I made a cave instead. And I was like, well, I can put an exhibit animal in the cave. There's, you know, <laughs> enough space for that. Uh, the only exhibit animal really native to the Congo was the Goliath beetle, which isn't super visible. <gasps> um, but <laughs> it works out, I think. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I am listening to what you're saying, Goron. I'm, I really am, but I'm also yeah. like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, this is, oh, this is what you meant. Yeah. This is what I meant. We've got like an artwork burrow oh, uh, with some it. windows, and yeah, I had to make sure to kind of emphasize those windows with the things. Oh, oh. <laughs> Um, I love because this. yeah, Artvar can swim. I didn't know <laughs> oh, yeah. when I first made the habitat. Um, oh, yeah. here we've got the pygmy hippo, which was one of your requests. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the barrier was really something that I wanted to make. Uh, I don't know how well it would actually contain <laughs> the pygmy hippo IRL, because the husband Emmanuel did mention that they tend to climb stuff, which is why I put the electric fence. <laughs> Oh, that's so amazing. <laughs> and we got the, uh oh, a bit of story. We, oh, we can we can see the Okapi from here. Oh, look, oh my there god, it is. they're in the mist. <laughs> but oh no, what's happening? Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're gonna go over the waterfall! Oh my god, that's so amazing! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I Oh, did that's use, so cool. I did use some mods to be able to get the thing to rotate like that. But, um, yeah, oh, that was oh, really that, cool. those are the bats you s showed. That's oh. the bat cave. So the reason those are there <laughs> is because I found out, I read, just randomly read somewhere, that Okapi eat bat poo. <laughs> Oh. And I was like, well, I'm the poo guy, I gotta make a reference <laughs> to that. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Here we've got the Okapi habitats. Oh, you get super good views of the animals, holy hell. Yeah, that was definitely one of my goals. Um, you know, really just... And that's why also the Okapi habitat, I made sure it's not visible from the walking route. Because uh -huh. I wanted it to be like exclusive to the ride. Uh, like and really the idea that yes they are very deep in the Congo you know you have to take the ride uh, oh, to get to them, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I feel oh yeah oh, I forgot I put him up there <laughs> I feel like 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 the dog from Up is constantly like distracted by stuff <laughs> but it's yeah, all it's, it's all so amazing <laughs> oh I so love yeah, we've this got the the bo bonobo habitat. The thing um, that I really like a lot is that you kind of lose the zoo feel. Everything, mm -hmm. like, you, you, I, I haven't been able to see any part of the zoo here because of all the trees and, and the yeah. bushes. I really, I really wanted to make, like, a, a dense rainforest kind of feel. 
it really works. It really, really does. Yeah, really emphasizing the nature of it. Wow. Now, these habitats, you really go kind of around them a lot more, which I kind of wish I did more of, because it gives you a lot more time to look at the animals and take everything in. Yeah, yeah, I, I get what you mean, but like some of these animals are shy animals, so I yeah, don't that, mind that you don't that's don't true. spend too much time with it. But oh yeah, man. especially the okapi. Are these like? <laughs> oh my god! What were you saying? <laughs> I. Are these are these the standard sounds of the boat, by the way? Yeah, sadly. Okay, okay. They are very loud. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't used the boat right yet. They so. uh, they quite literally drown out all others. <laughs> See, this is why we're friends. <laughs> Man, like you said you recorded a few of these and yeah. Superman I was gonna jump. say you, you you recorded the you chose the best one and then that happens. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a, a hidden cut in the, in this ride as well. Oh, okay. Which, uh, you can't you can't see. <laughs> At oh least you didn't notice. So no, I, I didn't notice will. anything. So wow. Uh, okay, and it is about to freeze, which is a bit of a bummer. I, I should I, have cut that out as well, but whatever. <laughs> Wow. That's actually, I can actually get into that now. So, um, syncing up the audio with the ride. Uh, the way I did it, basically, is that there's an audio cue in the soundtrack, uh -huh. uh, which tells you when to open the ride. And when you do that, it syncs it up. Oh, um, okay, okay. Problem is. <laughs> 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 So yeah, we're at the end, and here it freezes. <laughs> but yeah, so the problem is, uh, whenever you pause the game, um, for some reason, billboards pause with you, but custom audio, when the game is paused, keeps playing in the background. It just oh. mutes it. So whenever you pause the game, it desyncs. Whenever the game freezes, it desyncs. So it makes it really difficult to have it stay functioning, yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh, and the biggest problem, which is why um, I said at the start, I found a way to make it work. Uh, it actually doesn't really work. <laughs> I found a, I had to make a bit of a workaround. Because the way I had it set up at the start was that um, every speaker had their own sound file. And let's get back into the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, every um. speaker had their own sound file, which uh, they would just loop on their own. Um, and as long as all of those were in sync, uh, it didn't matter. Problem was, um, what I thought, how, it, how, I, how I thought it worked, was that if you load the zoo, all audio starts playing at once. Uh, but that uh -huh. actually doesn't happen. So the audio files were desynced from each other. Oh. Uh, so therefore it, it didn't work. So I had to make one audio file for the entire tour. Um, so right now there's only one boat that gets the audio experience. Uh, whereas before, I would have had every single boat um, function, basically. But yeah, sadly that's not possible because of how Planet Zoo works. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Which okay. is a bit of a bummer. Yeah. It's actually a shame because billboards do work like that. Billboards, if you have like video billboards, they all start playing at the same time. They pause when you pause the game. Uh, so they kind of work perfectly. It's just that their sound is bad. And if you have too many billboards, uh, it, it breaks completely as well. <laughs> so. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there was no uh, no other way. Sadly, uh, it just didn't really work for beer zoos. I like now that these now that these um these window these windows these doors pop up. <laughs> I also want to compliment you on how well you integrated these. Like, I I can barely see anything. That is still from the original um, station. station. Yeah, it was a pain to cover up, but I, I can imagine. Yeah. But <laughs> wow, <laughs> I love this. Yeah, I'm also pretty happy with the the sign that tells you to bring a booklet at the other uh, side. Oh, I love this. Like I I use the same kind of frame that you used for all those like artificial 
yeah, yeah, maps. Yeah. And if you actually, if you were to take away the plaster, it, it's uh, actually kind of sunken into the wall, and, and I'm hiding half the billboard to make it kind of work. <laughs> um, oh yeah, like it only it only uses a fraction of the billboard basically. But that's it works awesome. Well. That so, was yeah. okay. We're, we're still gonna look at like <laughs> the individual exhibits because. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it's, still it's the too <laughs> amazing, but wow. Yeah. I, I, I also love this. Like, imagine standing here and waving to the boats. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so, um, yeah, these buildings that you see, actually, those little shacks, and actually a lot of the buildings here um, are taken from, like, real-life inspiration. Oh, yeah. Um, once I had my storyline complete, and once I had kind of an idea of what the ride was going to be like, uh, <clears throat> I started taking some inspiration for buildings. Wow, my throat is completely messing up. <coughs> uh, so I actually went you know, onto Google Maps uh, to have a look at real life examples from the Congo. Um, but there's no street view there, so it's not really possible to just oh. have a look around. Uh, but what there is, is like you can click on like a, a city or a village or just any location and Google Maps will kind of pop up with some, you know, some people, uh, some pictures that people have taken and uploaded there. Uh, oh, okay, so okay. if you're lucky, you might find a picture. <laughs> so I've probably clicked on like a hundred different villages and <laughs> random locations to find a dozen <laughs> examples of buildings. But um, the I actually the 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 port, uh, like the dock building, is from a place called Lukulela or something. And that's also where the sign comes from uh, that originally said Port de Lukalela, but I turned it into Port de Farm Shadi. Oh, I love it. <laughs> uh, also using the... Well, at the time I built it, it was brand new, but now it's kind of dated already. <laughs> but the recolorable limestone pieces... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they worked uh, really well for this. That looks amazing. But, like, I, I, y y you probably saw me, but I went over here. Mm-hmm. The way that you made, like, the paint or the plaster, um, like, I don't... The weather. Weather, yeah, all of this, this building is amazing. It's yeah, really yeah, I did it in a, in a bunch of spots. It yeah. just brings a lot more life and character to everything. Okay, like... Uh, and it's kind of also the, the, the requirement you guys said, you're like, oh yeah, this is like four or five years old, so... Yeah, exactly, you know, Things exactly. gonna be a little bit more battered up. Uh, the station is like made that way on purpose, um, but for the other buildings, the idea is that it kind of is not completely intentional. Yeah, uh, it's also like once all the once the entire um, ride and everything is is done here, it's a very difficult area to come to with machines and and other stuff mm -hmm. to start fixing. So it's logical that if there's damage, they will they would only do it when it's really necessary and not just yep. whenever they there's a little bit of damage. I love Okafango. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so for people who don't know, uh, there is a different river in Africa, completely unrelated to the Congo River, um, which is the Okafango. And I don't know how it suddenly got to me, but I was I, I had the idea of putting a playground here because you know before you go on this ride, you probably want to have your kids lose some of their energy before they yeah, yeah. <laughs> gonna start rocking the boat or whatever. Uh, so you know, put down a little playground so they can just go ham. Uh, and I just was like, yeah, what if we call it the Oka Fun Go? <laughs> I think it's just a stupid pun. Uh, <laughs> and there's just a bunch of playthings. I love here. this. I love this. This is amazing. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> oh, I love you this. Can play, <laughs> you can play... Uh, I keep forgetting what it's called in English. Uh, I don't know... In, in Tic-tac-toe, that's what it is. Okay, so in, in Dutch, English. for all of you who want to learn about Dutch, this is called Omalo. So, uh, uh, no, that's Flemish. In, that's in Flemish then? Oh, in, wow. in, in, in Dutch, it's <laughs> Boterkaas and Eier. Wow, okay. No, 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 no. no. It's Omalo, so... Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I don't want to hear about that. <laughs> well, yeah, that was actually a game I played with Leaf, <laughs> Leaf Productions. Oh, okay, okay. Um, it's, a, it's a tie. And that's why one of the, the like, the last thing isn't even turned. Cause ah, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like... There's no point. It always ends in a tie. <laughs> oh yeah, there's no way to win. 
I love um, this. But yeah, there's a real staircase up to the slide. And of course, it's somewhat course. functional. It's, it's <laughs> somewhat functional if you want. <laughs> and then there are yeah, some other things. This is just I my, love, my I, own I love playground this as, blueprint as well. uh, pack. This is, this yep. is one of those things that could turn around as well, and it, it doesn't do anything, but for children it doesn't it's like... It doesn't do anything, but it's great. Then you can make a bunch of noise. <laughs> yes, exactly. You can make noise. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's let's continue, because I want to I wanna go into detail into some of these exhibits, because... Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so here, uh, just like the other side, uh, where you can have a look into the gorillas, uh, here you can have a little look into the... Bongo habitat as well. I love this. And uh, you can actually see in the background the stables for the bongo. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna was, jump the fence. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was kind of running out of color schemes, uh, so I started to look for some inspiration on you and Mike's YouTube channels. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was really inspired by one of my favorite uh, Planet Zoo series, which uh, I'm sure I'm sure we'll see another episode of soon. I mean, it's not like. Mike's quit YouTube or anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is the color scheme of Garden Rescue. Oh, uh, which I oh was yeah. Like, I thought it was like so vibrant and colorful. I actually loved it a lot. Oh, uh, and I love these little windows. Mm -hmm. It's yep. really well done. Like one thing that I also really liked, and I jumped over it over there, but I like how you... Uh, put some concrete underneath the feeding area. Yeah, yeah, that's also something I took home from Big <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I assume so. This, this, um, this kind of um, wall structure does remind me yeah. of um, what's the name again? At Lebenesu in Frankfurt, I believe. They have a very, very similar system. I have no clue. The basically the, the fault process behind it, because I, I actually just came up with it myself. Oh, cool. Um, the fault process behind it was I read the ESA, uh, or like just whatever, I don't know if it's the ESA, but whatever. I read the husband manuals for like all of these animals, because I didn't want to make any huge mistakes. You know, some creative liberties here and there, but Yeah, of course. Of um, course. One thing that the husband manuals for both the bongo and the Okapi mentioned was that it's not recommended to have deep water in the exhibit. So I was like, okay, there goes the idea of having them <laughs> next to the oh. river, right? You know? Excuse like, me, miss. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's not going to be possible. So, okay, how can we at least give the impression that they are next to the water? Well, okay, we just have these greenery in front and it works better with the Okapi because I have a little bit more space there. Um, or but I it does took a little bit more space there, but yeah, it's it just does, okay. the moat. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't work that well when there's someone walking in the moat, but otherwise, exactly. It works, it that kind of breaks fine. the immersion. Yeah, that breaks the immersion, which I think is also just funny, uh, and perfect. Yeah, it, it um, also makes it more of a zoo and less of a oh, this is a perfect dollhouse kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, I'm, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this because oh, I love it. It is actually like one wall. of the husband manuals actually mentioned like don't make sure there's no plants in the moat and stuff like that to prevent the animals from going in there oh, yeah. too often um so yeah it's just concrete down there oh it's it's amazing but this <laughs> holy hell yeah okay so gotta give a little shout out to haribo um because i tried to replicate his mod walls it kind of worked but not really uh, so i just asked him like can i just take yours <laughs> and he was fine with it so uh, i took uh, i took haribo's mud walls from his reptile house in the sula zoo mm -hmm. and uh, and they worked perfectly they were exactly what i had in mind for this oh it's amazing um, okay okay let's and if you head inside yeah we've got i was really happy with just the inclusion of all those bricks and stuff to make it look oh, like oh yeah the artwork has been kind of digging around and clawing things up <laughs> yeah like like and, uh, these areas where it's yeah, it's already. That oh, too. I love this. I really yeah. do. I also. This is also a, an amazing detail that you showed us. The netting that prevents rocks and stuff from falling. That's mm -hmm. just. It's all these yeah, little details. It's uh, there. There were so many. Like this entire ride is like dug out of oh, part yeah. of the mountain. 
So like, how do you? You gotta have retaining walls to for some safety reasons. <laughs> I didn't even um, notice this, but this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I tried to zoom in on it in the video, but it's not very noticeable. Um, but yeah, like you, you need so many retaining walls. Like, what's kind of a cheap retaining wall that's you know, sturdy enough to make it safe? It's amazing. It's really well done. I also like this yeah. because this is really in the style of the rest of the village. Yeah. So I uh, and, and that's just something that I like something that kept showing up in buildings in the Congo region uh, was just like big letters on buildings and I loved it a lot so I tried to incorporate it oh, that's amazing. Um, like pretty frequently yeah it's very just clever <laughs> by the way to make this completely black mm -hmm. it's, yeah, it's it's like still, a lot it seems a lot bigger inside than it's than it really is yeah and they can actually go inside as well which oh is that's cool. awesome Ah, oh, look, but uh, okay, we are we are completely aware that pygmy hippos aren't <laughs> native to Congo, um, but yeah, I really wanted these. <laughs> <laughs> They're great. This, yeah, and you this... wouldn't like it. It, it makes sense though, because like okay, hi normal hippos are. We don't have the space for those. Can we get pygmy hippos instead? Yeah, to at exactly. Least give, to at least get a hippo species. And oh. what's actually fun, uh, what I found out when I was making the education signs for the bongo, is that the bongo actually do share like habitat with pygmy hippo, from what I could tell. So at least there's there's some connection there. <laughs> I oh my god, like <laughs> I I know that that we might be stretching this video a little bit, but I do like watching just watching the exhibits and watching how everything works and functions and and yeah. i love how this 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 is really well done man this is this, really, this one really was well a struggle i like one of the things that i struggled with here this was really where husbandry manuals aren't always amazing right <laughs> <laughs> and this one frustrated me so much i was like okay how big should this habitat be i don't know what a realistic pygmy hippo habitat size is let me quote you the, <laughs> the husbandry manual. Outdoor enclosures range from 50 square meters to 2,400 square meters, <laughs> but the size of the lower end is no longer recommended. <laughs> Thanks. Thank <laughs> Very you. Very specific. And then for the indoor habitats, it's the exact same thing. Individual boxes range between 2 square meters and 40 square meters, and the largest one is 131 square meters. <laughs> Okay. It's, it's 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 pretty much yeah, just figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just do something, whatever. I I'm, um, I'm 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 gonna be honest, I think something like this will be the thumbnail because I think I think this is my favorite exhibit. And yeah, it is also my favorite. This was the exhibit where I really had a, a strong vision. Because when I, I went I'm into the pause kind of the for a split <laughs> second, because I want I want to have like I want to have this I want to have this screenshot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, like Welcome the main the ID home. I had going into this project was that of the audio and the kind of the story. Yeah, yeah. So once I had that kind of figured out, I was like, okay, now I need some habitats. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay, um, and yeah, this was the one I read where I really had a clear idea of like, I want this kind of natural barrier. I want the boats to share the water with the with the hippo. Uh, and I think it worked out really well. It it really did. And th speaking about things that really worked out well, <laughs> this when you when you yeah. first mentioned this, <laughs> when you first showed me this, actually, yeah, I could I, I only did it actually, see. I showed I could only see that happening, and that's like the idea that you almost stumble down, but there's a wall here that prevents you from doing that. It's amazing. Yeah, and uh, what actually, oh, what I figured out later on was actually a great feature to this as well, is um, like if there's heavy rain, um, all that water going into these pools is going to overflow over here, and oh, yeah. actually, you can actually manage it. Uh, so it's not going to flood any of the habitats. Or oh yeah, because so. this is... Yeah, this is a great... Well done. <laughs> well done. If Mike were here, he would be super proud of you. 
<laughs> I hope so. <laughs> uh, and oh. what's actually fun as well, in, in that kind of hall, uh, there are some extra speakers oh playing yeah. like extra loud waterfall noises <laughs> to really give you the impression <laughs> that this is a big waterfall, you should be scared. <laughs> How the hell did you even font pieces? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. But <laughs> I tried the using the uh, the new like African plates, like those little porcelain mm -hmm. discs, uh, and they looked so good. Except for the fact that even if you paint them completely white, oh, yeah. they still have that black patterning, and that kind of made it just look like a plate and not a speaker. So I ended up making it complete out of font pieces. It's I think it's. Still it's Beautiful. Yeah, I thought it was just a like I wanted this kind of speaker. Like it's the exactly the, the type of janky, yeah, more janky kind of speaker that you would have here. Wow. Let's just let's yeah. just follow this one. <laughs> wow. Oh, I also really like this habitat. I know, I know. This is an oh my god, so great kind of episode, <laughs> but it is, and. It isn't, oh my god, so great because it's super fancy and it's super high-end, because it isn't. It's the exact it's not, no, amount of jank that you need. And I, uh, <clears throat> I, I wanted, like, I figured there's going to be a lot of money going into just the boat ride itself. They're yeah. not going to have huge budgets for all of these habitats anymore. Yeah, and so we are in a rainforest setting, so it's pretty easy to just basically fence off a little area of of a forest and just let the animals run in there yeah. and half of their habitat requirements are already fulfilled because this is what they need exactly i love it i also love the fact that every every one of these pools has a concrete line <laughs> it all works so well ooh yeah there's a little connection just so you can, oh, so keepers can actually draw it in here. Oh, 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 I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm constantly going, oh, I love this and I love that, but I, I'm, really, I'm really being genuine about this. It's amazing. I also love this building over here. And these little, yeah. oh, see, it's these little details. <laughs> this, is, this is why we asked you to do this area, because we knew you would do it well. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Can we have one more little quick look at the, the bat billboard? Oh yeah, the bats. Because that was actually something, I, that was just another idea I had, like when I read about the uh, bat pool. It's uh, further back. Yeah, there it is. over here. Uh, so yeah, I was like, hey, I can probably have actually blinking bats in here. So it's actually an I animated billboard. Yeah, when when you first showed it, I was like, oh my god, he used the Christmas <laughs> lights. <laughs> <laughs> Probably could have worked, but yeah, this but is this is this this effect is a lot more it's a lot better. Yeah, I really love I it. I wanted to add like stalactites with bat poop on them uh, to kind of more emphasize that that's the reason they are here. Uh -huh. But then I realized that bat poop isn't actually like bird poop. <laughs> oh <laughs> no, because that's how I envisioned it. Uh, like. Like there's like white splashes on a stalactite, but uh -huh. no, bat poop is just like my, m like mice droppings, <laughs> okay. this tiny little things. <laughs> I did my research, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I also like I mentioned it in the video, but it's not only the fact that these speakers are amazing, but it's also like every single detail. You have the pole, you have the end of the pole, you have like these. Cables that are twisted. Ah, oh, Goron. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> yeah. It's all amazing. This is this is why we we wanted you for the job. Like, I knew you would you were gonna do a great a great job. And I also Thanks. I love this. Yeah, we didn't really mention this yet, but um, this is like the only backstage area that you see from the ride. So I wanted to give it a little bit extra theming, but not go too overboard. So it's like, yeah, just a recycled aircraft hangar sort oh, of thing. I love it. We'll yeah, because it, I think it's a good idea because um, whilst all the other animals are in a more forested area and when it rains, they can just hide underneath trees. That's not the case for these islands, of course. No, you can't have too many trees because that just creates yeah. too many escape opportunities. 
So uh, like you need so to have climbing structures like at least four or five meters away from any edge wall or whatever uh, to prevent them from being able to jump over. So <laughs> I had a keeper. Yeah, this this also it's it's these monkey islands is where your experience of <laughs> really shines through. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Can, I, I took I took my own climbing you. frame and I kind of modified it a little bit. I love it. I love also the fact that they spend so much time near it and yeah, on it, I basically. Actually, no. They don't usually do that for me, but, you know, maybe the bonobo are slightly different <laughs> than the chimpanzee. But I kind of feel like they just use the same. Oh, we're, we're going to ignore the bonobo in a box. <laughs> and and this is where we end. I yeah, love this. This, this again, this is, I think, I think this is... What gives me the Big Sebergen, um, Big Sebergen, wow, uh, <laughs> vibe the most. Yeah. It's like yeah, they have a similar type of thing. I tried to do it a little differently, but yeah. Oh, they're actually interacting. And they stopped. <laughs> <laughs> they are camera shy. I understand that. I am too. <laughs> oh, I also love this with the knot at the end. Oh, that's really <laughs> clever. Yeah, it's pretty simple, but it works. Yeah, it, it. I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna give people an idea. Like how it's pretty it's pretty compact, I think. Yeah. Like I, I stuck I stuck to my boundaries. <laughs> yeah, and you did amazingly, dude. Uh, I need I I. I need to follow up on this. Like, how? <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you'll figure out <laughs> something. It's, it's, it's... Look, if you haven't subscribed to his channel by now, please go do it. He deserves at least as many subscribers as I have, and preferably even more, because the things he does is insane. Please just go subscribe to Just Goron. <laughs> the, the, the stuff he does is amazing. It's it's. Yeah, I just can't describe it, man. It's it's, it's so wonderful. And I saw this also as well, and I loved this. Yeah, this little shortcut. Yeah, it's, it's just like the typical. All the, all the guests are now using, because it's the shortest path. But whatever. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh yeah, it's functional. Of course. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I, did, I did heavily use the like the free build mods and yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff like that, but you know it just makes life easier. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. Well, I think we saw everything, unless unless there's something yeah. that you've hidden. No, I, that, think, uh, I, I think that's about it. I mean, the backstage areas are just kind of mediocre. Just yeah, but just serviceable. <laughs> we 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 told you that that was okay because. Um, this zoo is going to have so much detail in all the exhibits and everything that our primary goal is to first have those finished and only have <laughs> yeah, backstages. Just, just finish everything, yeah. Yeah, and, and the backstages that are accessible, like the ones over here, you wouldn't go there as a guest, so you wouldn't go near it mm -hmm. as a guest, so it's fine. Like the ones that are closer by, those are usually the ones that we use, but it's yeah. just... There's, there's one little detail in actually the Artvark backstage, basically, kind oh. of. If you follow along there. Oh, wait, I'm yeah, there's this little building. I'm, I'm going. Whoa, shit. Oh. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, I saw. I saw that there was a door oh, yeah. over here. Yeah, that, that's one way to get to it, I guess. <gasps> Which makes a lot of sense to have, of course. Yeah, I mean, if something's up and maybe the ride's down or whatever, uh, a keeper could use this. This is also made by Haribo, by the way, I should mention. Oh, cool. And uh, I, I also really like this because it allows keepers to basically navigate throughout the entire area quite easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you gotta get to the, especially the habitats on the main island. Yeah, you gotta get to. Yeah. yeah, that's that's like oh, they're actually cleaning it. <laughs> and that's access to the Goliath beetle. <laughs> and then on the other side is access to the artwork. It's. <sighs> I am beating a dead horse at this point, 
<laughs> but this is one of the most amazing additions to the park. Um, no, thanks, man. It's it's amazing. Um, yeah, yeah. That that's all. So <laughs> yeah. Bef before before we wrap it up, is there anything you would still like to say, or is there anything you want to promote? Is there anything, whatever you want to do, feel free to I do mean, so. You already told them to, to head over to my channel. So. Yeah, yeah. Because and I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what else I can show you that would convince you more. I guess uh, if you want to know what I'm up, what I'm what I'm up to. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been been doing anything in a while, mainly because I was working on this, but also because I've been a little, a little bit busy. <laughs> um, but I'm planning on getting started with season two of my Bakeser Berger project soon. Oh, sweet. And the Bakeser Berger project is uh, a recreation of the real-life Dutch zoo, Safari Park Beekse Bergen. And uh, yeah, in season one, we basically built the entire zoo, except for a couple of things. And in season two, we're going to make the rest of those things, and we're going to update the zoo to the current day era, which re means redoing all the sign work <laughs> and making the new black rhino area. So Sweet. So yeah. everyone, <laughs> just go watch his series it's amazing it was featured on the birthday uh, on the birthday stream of planet <laughs> yeah, zoo you can you can download it you can, there's a version with all the animals in it there's a version without the animals if you don't have the strongest and the fastest computer so like go download it go look at it for yourself i've i've done it i've went through the entire zoo and it's incredible how much it feels like an actual zoo. Of course, it's a recreation, but... <laughs> it is an actual zoo, yeah. <laughs> but y you manage to capture the the feeling of getting lost in a zoo so well that it's insane. You just have to... If you, if you need inspiration on how to make your own zoos and make it feel like a zoo, the best tip I can give is download his Big Sabedian and just walk through it and you'll you'll immediately understand what you need to do so if, if all of this hasn't convinced you to subscribe to his channel i don't know what will i feel like you're you're just supposed to subscribe now you're, you're basically it's basically your room now if you subscribe to my channel you have to subscribe to just go on as well um yeah, I think I think we need to wrap it up because I think this episode will yeah, probably be is, like an hour. <laughs> um, Sorry, but <laughs> but thank you all so much for watching. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, subscribe to Just Goron's channel, and hopefully we'll see you guys soon, probably in the next episode, which will probably feature a potential new DLC. So Ooh. see you. Bye. Bye. -bye.